So firstly, you have your caps link. Then what you have is you have your dictionary with your dictionary words. Uh, you can go through it, but we're going to do all of these um, vocab during our lesson. Then I want you to go to the mental math section. Um, and we're going to start off that just to get ourselves mentally fit. Um, you're going to answer these questions orally or just by writing down the answer. And you're going to pause the video. Welcome back. Um, as we revealed the answers, so you can pause again and you can mark it. So today we're going to look at add and subtract like terms. So what we're going to do is we're going to make use of apples. So in everything in a term is the same except for the coefficient. You can think of it as apples. So what we have here is we have two apples plus five apples. What are the coefficients? The coefficients, they are 2 and the 5. But the apples are the same. So we have 2 apples plus 5 apples. So how many apples do we have all together? 7 apples or 7 apples using the symbol. We can do the same when we have 2x plus 5x. I want you to stop here. I want you to go through this and explain it then to a friend family member, or teacher. So let's go and look at the concept development. So we're going to look at the parts of monomials. So firstly, we're going to look at the coefficient. So the coefficient of a monomial is the number that multiplies the variable. So here what we have is we've got 2x, 3x squared, 4x to the power of 3. Um, and the monomials... The coefficients in these monomials are then 2, 3, and the 4. I want you to pause the video and then I want you to do the same with these and these. I, every time I want you to identify the coefficient, it's time to pause. Okay, welcome back. So in example number 2, we're going to look at the literal part of a monomial. So the little part is constituted by letters and its exponents. So we have these examples and you will see the letters and exponents are highlighted like x, x squared, x to the power of 3. I want you to pause the video here and then explain to your friend, teacher, family member what is the literal part of these monomials. Then in example three, we're going to look at similar monomials. So similar monomials is two monomials are similar where they have the same literal part. So let's quickly look at these. We got 3x is similar to 2x because the literal parts are the same. Um, we could get 8x squared is similar to 1x squared because the literal parts are the same. I want you to pause the video now and explain it to your friend or your teacher or a family member. Well done. Let's carry on with the next. So what we're going to do is we're going to add monomials. So similar monomials can be added. So the sum of the monomials is another monomial that has the same literal part and whose coefficient is the sum of the coefficients. So here what we have is 4x squared y to the power of 3z plus 2x squared y to the power of 3z. And if we add it, we add the coefficients and the literal parts are the same. So it's 6x squared y to the power of 3z. What I want you to do now is to go through the worksheet in your SA teacher um, worksheet book or workbook or the DBE workbook. Then after doing that, you can solve a problem, complete the extra activities, and then if you answer yes on this, you can carry on with the next lesson. If not, I want you to revise, revisit, or contact us at SA teacher.